Hello everyone. I am Atiku Rahman, an AWS Certified Solutions Architect. So today I'm going to show you how you can connect to your EC2 instance using a uh, Putty. Putty is a very popular tool to connect to uh, SSH to any Linux uh, servers from Windows environment. So a lot of my viewers has requested to uh, display a tutorial on how you can uh, create a PPM, uh, PPK file in Putty and how you can connect to your EC2 instance. So uh, let's, let's start the process. So I'm in my uh, EC2. I'm going to create a new instance and I will uh, use a uh, Linux instance to create those. So I'm going to launch a new instance. I'm going to use Amazon Linux, Q2 Micro, number of instance one, default uh, network, and I am role, uh, no I am role I will be choosing, shutdown behavior stop, and everything is as default, add storage, 8 gigs, that's fine, add tags, uh, Tutorial putty I will whitelist my IP address and uh, HTTP and HTTPS Okay, let's continue, launch, create a new key pair, put it test, cool, so uh, my instance is uh, now getting launched. While it's launching, I, uh, I I received a PM file. So PM file, uh, as you can see in my old other videos, that you can directly use PM file from your Linux terminals. But in Windows, you cannot use that because PM file it's not recognizable in Windows. So uh, what we have to do is we need to create a PPK file from this PM file, and then using that PPK file, we can connect to an EC2 instance using Putty. So uh, let's go to um, all programs and then I have Putty installed previously. <coughs> if you install Putty, you can see you will have Putty Gen. There is a uh, tools here, Putty Gen. So let's open that, Putty Gen. And then I'm going to uh, show it the path of the ppk pm file so show in folders it's downloads um load it here put test.pm open okay so i have um opened that PM file and now I'm going to create a, a PPK file out of it. It is uh, optional that you can set a password in this process, but it's optional. You can create a PPK file without password and with password. But if you have an option to give password, I suggest you can do it. So just uh, go to any password generator site and uh, generate a password here. and then uh, put that into this and save as a private key so you need to save this as a private key all these options you can keep as it is 2048 ssh2 rsa so i'm going to save it as a private key so uh put it as dot ppk 
booty private key files so let's save it I have saved it so uh, I just need to close it now so this is my password I, I will save it in a safe place here like in a notepad for future use so now I'm going to connect to my instance this is my IP address then I open putty again Here is putty I give the uh, name here ec2 user at the IP address then I uh, give the directory of that uh, ppk file that I just created so put it as .ppk I give a name the test and then save open it will ask me a uh, confirmation that whether you trust this certificate yes I trust this so let's now it will ask the password that you have given so I have uh, copied here if you don't set any password it will not ask any password okay so I have uh, pasted my password here remember one thing that uh, in putty you cannot press control V so control V is not the same as paste so you need to press shift plus insert so let me write it down if you want to paste anything you need to uh, press shift plus insert okay so let's for example I have uh, copied this line and I want to paste I just press shift insert okay so and if you want to copy anything you just need uh, select that item in putty and then you just uh, right click it it's copied as you can see I, I haven't pressed any uh, control C or anything it is just copied so these two things you need to remember because if you are a Windows uh, user you, this might seems to be a bit odd for you that um, your control C control V doesn't works but you need to get used to it if while while if you put it more and more okay so let me clear uh, my screen and then I have as I have connected so I will install uh, first to an update is updating my uh, Linux environment then I'm going to uh, install uh, Apache web server and uh, then we will test the default page with PHP so it's uh, loading awesome then I'm going to install so do you know, install HTTP two four okay then I'm going to install PHP seven point three So to service HTTP start. Okay, so I have uh, my web server up and running. So let's go here and see. Awesome. So guys, as you can see, I have just. Uh, connected to my uh, EC2 instance set up all those things that I need and then I can continue using uh, do more things with putty so uh, this is a very basic tutorial on how you can use putty to connect to your EC2 instance I hope this helps you and uh, I will create some more tutorials on putty as well thank you for watching my tutorial and have a nice day